Sarah here. Today I am going to show you how to use Descript to create your own audiogram where you can share audio across social media platforms in a visual format. All you need is Descript and about three to five minutes of your time. Ready? Let's go! Okay, once you've created your account in Descript and downloaded the app, you should open it up to a screen that looks like this. The first thing that you're going to do is hit new project and then go ahead and give it a title. Hit create project, and now you're ready for some work. Now here you may need to put pause if you don't have any audio files readily available, but if you have a podcast or some sort of webinar that you've recorded, maybe it was a Facebook Live, lots of different options for audio files, you're gonna to wanna to drag and drop the audio file that you need in here. So I have one ready. Just gonna drag that in and it's going to do a little bit of work down here, say adding file. This may take a bit of time depending on how large your file is. You wanna go ahead and hit transcribe because this is going to give you the visuals for your audiogram. So it's going to, of course, give you the transcript. So go ahead and hit transcribed and let this take a couple of minutes to work. Depending on how large your file is, this might have taken you a little bit of time, but when everything is done, you should end up at a screen like this. Now, what's really important here is to make a couple of adjustments before we move on to the next step. So first things first, take a look at your transcription. And again, depending on how big this file was, you may wanna look through to the clip that you want to create an audiogram from first. For me, I know my name is spelled wrong, so I'm gonna click up here and hit correct text. Just come on in like you would any other text document and make your edits. You can go back to edit media and now you've got everything set here. So when everything looks good, you can go ahead and change your speaker, put in a speaker name so we can add speaker, Sarah, and hit done. If you, uh, don't have a speaker, you can just kind of omit that, whatever you'd like to do. All right, once all your editing there is done, now you're ready to select your audio portion at the bottom. For me, I'm using this whole thing, so I'm just gonna drag and select it all. And a little tip, I just use my mouse scroll bar to make this section larger and smaller. If you don't know which section of audio you'd like to use, go ahead and hit pause. Maybe you could read through your transcript to decide which would have the most impact. Find those timestamps and select them. Once you have everything selected, from here, all you're gonna do is hit share and then publish. Once you're in this publish, you're gonna wanna be sure that you select audiogram. It may have come in as audio or video, but we wanna do an audiogram today. And as you can see, it's already at work for us. So it's taken all of our transcript and created an audiogram right in Descript. From here, you have a few different options. You can scroll through and choose a different template. There's a couple of different templates to choose from here. So whichever you would like, I'm gonna stick with the first one. And then as you scroll down a little bit, you have a couple of options for the free version and also a bit more if you upgrade to pro. First is the composition title. This is what we called our project. So if you'd like to rename that, you can adjust it so it shows up a bit nicer here on your project. You can also just remove it. Also included are the speaker labels. Again, if it's just one person speaking, perhaps that's not relevant, you can take that off as well. Accent color can be adjusted to any hex code or RGB code that you would like. I stuck with the orange that they have here. I think that's fun. As you can see, the pro options are to add your own background image, whether that's your podcast cover or some sort of other photograph, totally up to you, but you do need a pro membership, as well as removing the Descript badge and maybe putting in your own logo or removing it altogether. Once you've made all of the adjustments that you want, all you do is go ahead and hit publish. When your audiogram is done, you will get this nice little pop-up that allows you to download, copy the link, or embed the HTML on your website. So you can copy your link on social media, you can download the file and save it yourself. Whatever you would like to do, it's there for you. And that's all you have to do to create your audiogram. Now, say you accidentally deleted this screen and you're not sure how to get it back. Let's take a look at where this is stored in Descript. 
So from your main home screen in Descript, you can get back to any audiograms that you may have made. Just come over here on the left to your audiogram file, and if it's not there, you can select this drop down and select audiogram. As you can see, I've done a couple of demos here, but that's where your audiogram is stored and it'll allow you to download, get your links, whatever you would like to do. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and you have lots of fun with Descript audiograms. Bye.